Hey guys, uh, just doing a really quick re uh, review of the BC-10. Let me grab this real quick. Alright, cool. Okay, so the flashlight uh, comes in the package like this. Here's the package. Here's the back of it. Got this flashlight from Going Gear about three days ago. It came in the mail today. Got these cool little things. <laughs> I get these all the time, but I never use them. I don't know why. I guess I just forget. But, you get those too. So, here's the package. Uh, comes with all these little... Uh, where to go? Comes with all these little silica gel things, like uh, like they always say. Here's the instruction manual. I would uh, recommend reading this. Here's the warranty card, and then here is the accessories: the s lanyard, spare O-rings, uh, boot cover thing. I finally figured out how to get off there. Got a video of that somewhere, and got the flashlight itself. Now this flashlight's powered by a single CR123 or a rechargeable CR123. Um, here is the CR123 that I use. These are rechargeable CR123s. These actually aren't 16340s. The peak voltage on this is like 3.6, but it drops to 3.2 or 3 uh, when you get on charging it. So these aren't like 16340s. These are pretty much just like uh, rechargeable CR123s. LiPo, I always get those. Uh, they're a little safer than lithium ion. I put X's on there. I don't know why I did that. But what I have in there right now is I have a 16340. Um, Got a Trustfire 16340. Also got this from Going Gear. This along with the flashlight. Uh, I'll use that later. Okay, so here's the shot of the tail cap. It is a momentary with click on. Uh, here is the um, threads, the inside. I'm going to show you guys the inside of the head. So there's the inside of the head. And this is a little bitty light. It's a little small. I actually like it if I can ever get this thing back on here. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Let's say I can't get it on there. All right, put this in there. Put the rechargeable CR123. Okay, so the output is 270 lumens, and the BC20 is actually 305. Now, I was going to tell you this earlier, but the output on both of these lights are actually pretty similar. It's pretty insane. Um, this says 305. This says 270. They are literally right at about the same. This is just a tiny step under the output of this, which is pretty crazy. 270 lumens. Uh, it's got momentary. Click for constant on, and then you do that as long as you do that as many times as you want. It'll never switch modes. It's only got two modes. If you're familiar with the BC series, you tighten the head, you get high, you loosen it, you get low. Now I was going to show you this earlier. The low, um, I'm gonna put this on low, and then I have this on low. I'm gonna tighten it, and then I'll put this thing on low. Now I was going to show you guys this. The output on this BC10 actually says it's 200 or uh, 30 lumens on low. I'm thinking it's close to 60 or 70. The only reason I say that is because the output is a lot higher than the BC20 on low. Uh, I don't know if they're all like that, but I know mine is. Also, they you can see this little this one has a little purple uh, reflective uh, sapphire coated lens or whatever they call that. AR coated. Uh, BC20 doesn't. It still has the AR coated lens, but you can really see it on this. It's purple, big time purple. Um, but they're both on low. Remember, the BC20 is over here. BC10 is on, on here. So BC10 on right, BC20 on left. And as you can see, they're both on low. The BC10 is a lot brighter on low. So I'm, that's why I'm thinking this is close to 60 or 70 lumens, probably 60. Uh, so keep in mind, the low mode on the BC10 is going to be a little higher than the low mode on this. Because this says 30 and this says 30, but it's obvious that the BC10 is a lot brighter. And then we put them on high. Now, keep in mind, I don't have the 16340 in there because it's over here. So I wasn't sure if you guys knew that. So BC20 on left, BC10 on right. As you can see, they're really close to the same output. They're really similar. It's not even that much to notice. You can't even notice it that much at all. The beam profile on them, uh, or the beam profile on both of the flashlights, are pretty much the same. Whoops. BC10. They're both on low, so so the beam profile is pretty cool. Uh, I noticed that the BC20 is more on the coolish blue green side, and this is actually more of the pure white. You can't really see it on camera, but it's more pure white than it is anything else. Uh, it's not neutral, but it is really, really it's got that really nice uh, beam profile and really nice output along with a really cool color tint. So you get all this stuff, you get the, oh, you get the pocket clip too. I don't even know if I mentioned that or not. In fact, I don't even know where it's at. Ah, I lost it. Oh, it's over here. So the pocket clip actually goes on the flashlight. I don't want to put it on there because it scratches it up. It's already on the flashlight when you get it, but I took it off because I hate scratching these flashlights up with the pocket clip. 
I don't really care about the BC-20 because I've already scratched it up enough as it is. I beat this thing all up. Great light. Um, I would highly recommend getting any of the B-Series flashlights because they are really good output. They do last a while. I mean, these things... I've dropped this one probably three or four dozen times, and it still works perfect. I had to take the switch apart because my switch was sticking. I don't know if they all do that, but my switch started sticking after I started using it. Uh, so I had to take it completely apart. And just so you guys know, you can actually run these switches underwater uh, to clean out anything inside the switch. Just make sure it's completely dry before you put it back in the flashlight. Uh, I tested that the, the hard way. Not really the hard way, but I kind of got to thinking... Uh, that the switches inside these flashlights, they're not electronic, they're manual, or what do you call that, they're, uh, I don't know, I think they're called, I don't think it's called manual, but since there's no wiring in these switches at all, unless you're using an electronic switch, uh, you can run these switches underwater, just take it completely apart, take the switch out, and then run it underwater, uh, if it's sticking or messing up, and then that'll clean it out, and make sure it's completely dry before you put it back in the flashlight, because I've dunked this, just the switch underwater, and it works perfect, it actually works better, <laughs> don't know how that works, I guess it just does. But make sure it's completely dry before you uh, before you put it back in the flashlight. So, but here they are again. Here's the size compared to the BC20. BC10 is tiny. Great light. XPG R5. I don't know if I mentioned that. Momentary. I'm just trying to cover everything. 270 lumens. Um, let's see what else did I not mention? I'm trying to think. Don't want to make this video too long, but but yeah, there's the flashlight great light and I'm gonna have some videos of the beam shots as well so you guys can see that so alright thanks for watching